Hi, I'm Steve with Moose Logic. Uh, today we're here with uh, Josh and Dave from Weiss. Uh, we're going to discuss the um, current offerings from Weiss um, on their thin clients. Um, we're going to have a little bit of a discussion regarding the overview of the products, uh, what each of them does for us. Uh, so, so Josh and Dave, can you tell us a little bit, uh, give us an overview of uh, what Weiss is doing here today in the marketplace? Absolutely, absolutely. So we're very excited about uh, kind of refreshing and deepening our partnership with Moose Logic, and uh, here today to talk about uh, where Wise is at in the thin client and the cloud client computing segment, as well as uh, our partnership with Citrix. So, great, great. So tell us a little bit about what's new with your products. I know there's a couple things you guys have just put out this year uh, that are very exciting. So tell us yeah, about those. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we've got a full portfolio of OS options and hardware options in our thin client and zero client portfolio. Uh, we've got uh, thin clients that are based on our wise proprietary thin OS operating system, mm -hmm. uh, Windows embedded, as well as Linux and our zero clients. And so a couple things that are brand new as of this quarter, uh, we've got a, actually in last quarter, uh, the Zenith zero client for Citrix Zen desktop, mm, okay. uh, purpose built device for that. Um, as well, this quarter we've just launched the first to the market with Windows embedded standard 7. Devices. Ah, very nice. So, why don't uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, each of those two devices, and you know what is it that the customer should be interested in these devices for? Um, you know, what's the benefits, and, and so on and so forth. Absolutely. So, I'll take on the Wes Seven piece, and then let Dave cover sure. on Zena. So, Windows Embedded Standard Seven um, is a, a, a very full featured OS for an embedded operating system. Uh, you can get the full Windows Aero interface, mm -hmm. uh, both through terminal services and, and RDP or RDS now, as well as um, you, you know connect to a variety of virtual desktops on the back end. Um, so you can get that full Windows Aero interface, whether you're streaming applications in via Zen app uh, or terminal services, or obviously uh, a full um, Zen desktop connection. Okay, a couple questions that I uh, jumped to mind for me there. Um, with these units, um, IE is obviously built in, so we can go out and use a website access through it. Um, is what about the what was called the program neighborhood agent? Is that built right into them too these days, or, or not? Yeah, it is. So the the, the basic uh, image that comes on the West Seven devices has the Citrix receiver pre-built, mm. um, the latest version. Um, as of the time the image was actually uh, uh, put in concrete and, and, and stamped, is good to go. Okay. Good, good, great. So tell us um, a little bit about the benefits of the, Z the Zenith client. Sure. What, uh... So, so uh, the Zenith device is actually a purpose-built device that was uh, designed to run uh, for Zen Desktop. Uh, it is a, uh, uh, a very, very quick device that is based on the Y0 engine, which is the, uh, the actual software that, that makes it tick. Um, it's the only non-Windows device out there that has full HDX support. Um, so it's, uh, it's got a sub five second boot and connect time, uh, zero management, zero configuration, near zero energy usage, um, and it just uh, it ends up making the user experience in a Zen desktop environment very, very friendly, uh, makes it feel just like it's a regular PC sitting in front of them. And the, and the administrative experience, uh, very, very light as well. Uh, the devices can all be updated um, centrally uh, without any specific management of each individual device. Right. One thing I heard you say in there that uh, for our, our viewers here, uh, HDX. You mentioned it's out of the box HDX ready. Can you can you tell us exactly what what does what is HDX? What is that doing? Why is that important in that device? In that device. Sure, sure. So HDX is um, Citrix's um, uh, high definition experience. Um, that's uh, a whole bunch of uh, unique technologies that are built on the ICA protocol that make it so that the, the end user has an experience that's very, very close to a regular PC. So multimedia works well, USB devices are redirected well, flash works well. Um, traditionally in, in um, desktop delivery uh, protocols, those were some of the weaknesses. Multimedia didn't work well, audio didn't work well, you couldn't plug in USB devices. So when Citrix developed HDX, it kind of answered that all those questions and made it so that it was a better user experience. So the, the end user, if they go to YouTube or go to a website that has some multimedia or they have to play a training video, it actually is delivered to them in a, in a very seamless fashion. It makes it feel like it's more natural. Great. So then that's all built in. We don't have to replace the clients or anything like that. That's ready that's to exactly go. Right. Yeah. So um, the, the Y Zenith device has full HDX support. Um, the one thing that it doesn't have uh, that the Windows 32 client does is mm -hmm. flash redirection, mm -hmm. but we've worked very closely with Citrix to actually optimize flash so it's delivered in a fashion that's very similar to that if it were being redirected to a Windows device. Oh, that, that's great. Tell me, my understanding of the